Hi, welcome back to the Price Action Analyst YouTube channel. This is IconCoin ICX. Um, I wanted to do a video on this one because it's a, an example of something that I haven't reviewed yet. Um, Icon coin, it's a coin I own. Um, it had a very strong breakout and it had a retrace, which is now turned into a lengthy consolidation. And this is an example of one where I'm no longer sure, like I don't have a premise. So if people were asking me, what should I do? I would say wait and see what happens with the price action. So it's different because I don't actually have a premise here anymore. Um, you know, normally you want to see a retrace that forms some sort of pennant or flag pattern. Um, this has, but what's worried me here is You've got strong upside momentum, which is good. And then you've got strong downside, strong downside momentum. And you can argue that this entire flag now is upside momentum, but it's not very strong. And by momentum, I mean angle. So if it pushes up very steeply, that's strong momentum. So this upward um, consolidation is not very steep. It doesn't have a lot of momentum compared to the last sort of leg of downside. So what does that mean? It means price could push up here, but now I can equally see it pushing down here. You know, you get, you had the strong weakness, really mild upside, and then another strong leg down. So that's, that's also now a possibility. None of it is really just a guess. So now, now I don't have a premise. I just you're literally just waiting to see what happens. So if I had to trade this, if this was like the Nasdaq and this was the market I traded. What would I do? I would wait to see which way. I would sit by. It. I'd do nothing. I'd wait to see which way price was going to move. So if it got up here, would I buy it here? No, because it could do this again it could suck you into buying and then retrace back inside so if i was going to buy it on the upside i would wait to see a breakout with air and i'd look to hit the retest either of this line or this previous high or the um the retest of the the upper trend line so but again you're waiting for that breakout and you're letting price just go without you and you're waiting for the retest so there's a lot of waiting um and i on the flip side on the downside i'd wait to see too because price could come down here and then it could fool people into thinking oh we're short and then rock it up that'll happen a lot so i'd wait for price to either do that or come down again hopefully with air and then hit the retest short and if if you hit that retest you're looking for price to come at least down to there so i just i'm doing a video of that because when i look at that chart for me and my trading skill set i don't i i no longer have a premise i don't know i have no expectation so i'm just waiting to see what happens and it's, this consolidation has gone on for so long it's just a guess i mean you've got upside strength the upside stronger here stronger there stronger there stronger there you know you've got stronger weakness sort of strength but immediate weakness like no follow-through so you know if you you get a strong daily bar paint in here uh, bearish engulfing and it closes on its low it's going to come back and test here but again i it's totally driven by what happens um so it's just basically sitting on your hands and watching the price paint in there but that that's an example as well of what we don't want when i see the upside and we're looking at the retracement and you you know say you hit that buying action here 
there's nothing you can do about this. This just, this is what you don't want. And it, it'll happen sometimes. Um, the only thing I'd say that you still have in favor of the upside is that this, this candle wick here, this will always be strength too. Like you will always get strength within the wick like you have here. So as long as this wick's been here, you've got strength as it comes down into the wick strength. And as it comes down here, you'll continue, especially if you get a wash of that pivot, be prepared to see price like rocket back up. So yeah, there's a lot of things going on here and it's really just a case of waiting. You know, if price is going to come down here, you know, if it if it doesn't get to the bottom of the wick and it retests that line, yeah, I'll hit the short, but I'll be, I'm absolutely watching what price action does here. And I'm ready to hit the exit button here. Um, if we, if it breaks out on the long side and I hit the retest long, fine. But when price gets up here, I'm definitely watching to see what happens. And I'm, I'm, I'm on the side of exiting up here because you're almost always going to get selling strength very rarely will price just rocket through that and continue on um it'll it'll go through that sometimes and make you think that it's going to keep going and longs will be getting in and they'll get squeezed price almost always will retrace back in on a wash of something like that so anyways it's just something that i haven't really done a video before of something where i'm just not sure on what the premise is again i own that coin so um not sure where i bought it i think it was the first of june so there um i'm tempted you know all of these were supposed to be long-term buy and hold so i don't know i'd probably have to uh, if it showed strength through there i might change it up for something else so that's kind of it would have to be you know, it would have to run against me quite a bit for me to decide that I'm kind of done with it because there's a lot of other things that are going up. Anyways, I hope that's helpful. It's just a, a coin there that I wasn't too sure about. And, and, and in situations like that, I highly recommend just waiting. You know, you stand aside and wait and see what happens and wait until you have a trading setup that you're confident with. Thanks a lot.